Hey, hey, hey! Merry Christmas! Happy Holidays! Welcome to the last live workout that we're going to have before the big day. Thank you guys so much for joining me and uh, welcome to yet another part of the Strong Style Fitness Holiday Compound. <laughs> So we are, we are now, um, I've been taking you on a tour if you are um, just now working out with me for the first time. Um, our workouts in the month of December have all been uh, showing different parts of our house um, that we decorate for Christmas. So we definitely move some stuff around to fill the set. Trust me, we don't have quite everything that's packed in everywhere all the time. But uh, we love to decorate and um, so just wanted to share that with you guys. A lot of you that know me personally definitely get a kick out of all the decorating we do. So today, since this is the last day before Christmas, or our last workout before Christmas, I thought I'd show you. This is our main tree here. So this is the, the oldest tree that we have, the biggest tree, not by height, but by total size that we have. This is kind of our main tree in our living room here. So hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, I think there's only one tree that you guys didn't get to see and we just couldn't figure out how to make workout space with that. And that one's actually our tallest tree. We have a seven foot tree uh, that you guys didn't get to see. So maybe I'll post a picture of that in the comments on, uh, on this video later so you guys can see it. So thanks so much for joining me guys. Today um, we are doing a holiday themed circuit. So what that means is uh, we are going to spell out holiday with the first letter of each of our exercises. So um, doing that, I was like, well, you know me, there's also always got to be a theme or a rhyme or reason. It can't just be totally random. So uh, on top of that, we've got the holiday theme for the circuit. We're going to be working shoulders and core. Interesting, right? So kind of here to here is what we're working with today. So we're going to do shoulders, we're going to do core, and we're actually hitting all parts of the shoulder. So it will be a great upper body workout. Um, really the only reason why I'm not calling it upper body is because we're not doing biceps, biceps and triceps. So that's our theme. What you're going to need is a light weights and medium weights is kind of what you're looking for. Um, most of the upper body, um, because it is shoulders and we tend to not go quite so heavy when we do shoulders, um, we're going to work mostly in the lighter end today. Um, a lot of our core work also includes shoulders, so we're really going to be working those shoulders today. So definitely think on the lighter end. Um, the one exercise we have in the circuit that is one that I normally go heavy on, I'm even going lighter in that than normal today. Just to be safe and uh, just to make sure I've got the stamina to get all the way through um, our circuit. So what our circuit looks like, again, holiday spelled out shoulders and core. We're going to do eight exercises total. That's going to be our circuit, eight exercises. We'll do that exercise for one minute. We'll take a 20 second break and then move on to the next exercise. So it'll be one minute on, 20 seconds off. So sort of similar to the Tabatas if you've done a Tabata but not a circuit with me before. Just a longer set of work. So one minute on, 20 seconds off. We'll go through all eight exercises and then at the end of the eight exercises we'll take, I think it's about a two minute break and then we'll reset, do it all again. We're gonna go through four times. So not gonna talk much longer. I wanna make sure that we keep the workout as short as possible, reasonable as possible. So let's see, we went through all that. Of course, modify as needed. Shoulders can be really sensitive. Don't go crazy if your shoulders are telling you a oh, weight's too heavy, like I said, especially because we're doing so much shoulders. Listen, now, I'm not, again, I, I always worry that you guys take that as interpreted as just do easy work. That's not what I mean. But listen, if your shoulders are tired, keep pushing. If your shoulder is screaming at you, listen to that. So that's what I mean when I say modify as needed and listen, okay? And then always add music if you need it. Maybe a little bit of holiday music today. I'm sure there's exercise Christmas playlist out there. <laughs> no music here as always, just to make sure that nothing gets blocked um, as far as copyrights go. I do have a crackling fire back here to get toasty warm by. And as always, I will be checking Facebook for questions once before we get started. And then at the end of each circuit, I'll jump in too. So if you're working out live, feel free to leave me a comment if you have any questions. I'll be happy to help. Or if you're working out after the fact, you can leave a comment, shoot me a message, whatever it is. I'll be happy to help you as soon as I can. And always please share, 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 review, post, subscribe, all of those things that you can do in the social media world. 
always helps to get the word out about what we are doing here. Where else are you gonna find 70 plus donation-based pay what you can workouts? Pretty incredible. All 60 minutes too, by the way. 60 minutes, people pay a lot for that. So please, please, please share, share, share these workouts. Let's get some people joining in and I would certainly appreciate donations as well while we're on that topic. Venmo at Strong South Fit is where you'll find me. It is the only payment I receive for these classes, so it is greatly appreciated for those of you who can give to do so when you can. All right, guys, so don't wanna take any more of our time. I'm gonna take a quick water break, check our video to make sure we're running, and then we're gonna get started. And uh, yeah, you do the same. I'll meet you back here in just a couple seconds. All right, friends. So I'm gonna tell you what the first exercise is before I hit the timer. That way you can get set. And then after that, we'll have 20 seconds between each one so I can kind of set up the exercise for you. As always, I just say, please be patient with yourself and with me in the first round um, because you do have to know what exercise is coming. 20 seconds, I can get pretty close to telling you what's coming. So just be patient. First round's always a little clunky and then it goes a lot more quickly the last three rounds because you know what you're doing, you know where you're going. Um, I always just say, please, if you are really having to wait, you don't know if I say high pull and you're like, what the heck is that? Um, don't stand and wait for me to fully explain and finish and watch and watch and watch and then finally start getting moving because then you're gonna have like 10 seconds left. So as soon as you get the gist of what's happening, go ahead and start moving and then perfect it as you go. All right, so speaking of high pulls, that's what we're gonna start with. I um, believe we have done this real recently, maybe even the last workout, honestly. So high pulls, we're gonna have our weights here in front of us, our shoulders are down, we're gonna pull up, squeezing between our shoulder blades and to the back just a little bit. So we just did this very, very recently. So the one thing when I say high pull or an upright row is that people wanna bring elbows way up here because for some reason that's what's in demonstrations all the time, please, 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 don't do that, no elbows up here. We're pulling here, all right? Okay, so I'm gonna hop out of the frame, I'm gonna hit start on our timer, I'll say three, two, one, go, and then I'll jump back in, but as soon as I say go, you get going, all right? All right, we've got three, two, one, let's go. Oh no, my timer, oh, pause, 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 my timer got all out of whack. I knew it, I forgot to hit save, it'll take me no time to fix this. There we go. All right, so in three, two, one, let's do it. I knew that was gonna happen. I forgot to hit save before I walked away when I was messing with it earlier. <sighs> it timed out. Got these high pulls. Again, kind of tough to see because I've got a t-shirt, which is, whoo, I'm gonna be sweat city here. We're pulling back and up. So we're really squeezing the backs of those shoulders. Whew. Really think about muscle engagement here. Whew. And again, I like to have that opposite force. My shoulders are coming down as my elbows are lifting up. So my shoulders aren't physically dropping down, of course, but it's that energy, that idea that my shoulders are pressing down while my elbows are coming up. Perfect, 20 seconds, break. Next exercise is gonna be overhead press. So overhead press, I try to keep all these pretty simple because they're all things that we have done before and moving in circuit, you just don't have a whole lot of time to learn something new. But I did throw one thing in that we haven't done much, and we'll get there soon. You'll need the stability ball for that. Overhead press, boom. So we've got goal post arms. We drop the weights down, we stop about shoulder height. And push up overhead. This is one that always gets me when I watch videos because for those of you that don't know, I have scoliosis, so my spine is curved. Therefore, everything's 
a little different heights on each side. So I always notice when I do overhead press that one weight always comes up a little higher than the other. That's because my whole body's kind of tilted up one direction. Also going a little lighter in the weights. This is the exercise I was saying is normally a heavier one for me, but I'm going lighter because I know I've got tons of shoulder work ahead. I want to preserve those shoulders and get as much work out of them as I can. Boom. All right, I'm going to put those weights down. We're going to do a low plank rock with a tap out. So low plank rock. We're going to come down to our elbows. So this is our low plank. We're going to, I'll wait for the timer. All right, so we're up on our elbows. We're going to rock forward twice, two, step out right, step out left. Rock forward twice, step out right, step out left. Keeping that core engaged, up and in. Nice flat back. Shoulders are already talking. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Wow! Wow, what have I done? <laughs> what have I done? All right, guys, our next exercise is going to be. Inchworms, again, something we just did pretty recently, but we added a tap out with those. We're not gonna tap out on these. We're not tap out, I'm sorry, shoulder tap. All right, so inchworm, we start standing. We try to keep our legs straight as we come down, and then we take steps forward till you hit plank, and then step it back. So, a couple key pieces here. Again, trying to keep legs straight. And then your goal is to take as few steps as possible to get into your plank. However, if that means few steps, means 10 steps, that's fine. I want you to just challenge yourself to see how few you can take, but there's no rules. Take as many as you need to, and then just make that a goal. It took me eight steps today. In a month, can I get it down to six? So our next exercise is going to be the D in holiday, a delt fly. So you're going to use super light weights for these, the lightest weights you have most likely. Because <sighs> we're working a really small muscle group, we really want to dig into it. And if we go too heavy, we're going to use all sorts of muscles in our neck that we don't want to use. So we're going to have our feet set underneath us. We're going to lean forward, and this one's we really lean into. Shoulders back and down, weights out front, and we open to the side. So I'll show you from the side here. Make sure I don't punch my little llama in the face. So you can actually bend all the way over if you want to. Your call how far you bend, but you do want to take it to that max bend that you're comfortable. If you're up here, Put your shoulder in kind of a weird position. So again, squeeze in between those shoulder blades. You want your gaze to be out in front, not down at your legs. All right, so this is one that you have your stability ball. I want you to grab it. And in fact, I'm gonna pause for just a moment because this is a new exercise for most. So, we're gonna take, hopefully I'm still in the frame here. If you have stability ball, you're gonna put it out in front of you. 
You're gonna get up nice and tall on your knees. Here, we're gonna have our hands lightly on the ball. We're gonna start to roll the ball out. We wanna land in a low plank on the ball and then pull it back up. So, common mistakes, we get way too far out and our shoulders get way extended like that. No good. Or we end too soon and we end up plopped up on top of the ball. So, it'll take a time or two to find your right space. You roll it out, land, engage that core, pull it back in. All right? All right, I'm gonna hit start on timer again. We'll have seven seconds. So we got five seconds. If you don't have the stability ball and you have an ab roller, I think I had included that in my post, then you can absolutely use an ab roller here to get the same work. If you have neither, then I want you to lay flat on your back, legs extended, we're gonna do double leg lifts. So you lay flat on your back, legs extended, lift up, drop down as close to the floor as you can, and lift. We'll be working the same parts of our core, just in a different way. See, I need to get the old inflator out. My ball's getting a little squishy. This is definitely one too that people are like, oh, you make it look really easy. I don't know if that's true or not, but if you're having trouble with it, no, it is a difficult exercise. So if I happen to be making it look easy, it is a challenging exercise. It is challenging for me too. I've just done a lot. So I know the feel, I know where to land, you know. All right, so we're doing a Y lift. So Y lift, we start with light weights, light, light weights in front of us, open that chest, roll your shoulders down, and then think village people, Y, and bring it down. Hello, hi Rizzo, you want your own little weights? You want to do a Y lift with me? Been wondering where you were. She's been so active in our workouts lately. Guys, I'll go ahead and tell you now in advance, this next exercise coming up is definitely an upper level challenging exercise. We have done it once somewhat recently and only once before. I say that not to scare you, but just so you're prepared, I'm going to try using this mat. I don't know if it's gonna work. For me, it might be too slippery. All right, so we're gonna start in what they call a bear crawl pose. So we go hands and knees, tabletop, we lift, our knees off. When we lift our knees off, we shoot the moon whoo, by kicking through and opening up. So we kick through, open up, roll it back down. We are getting all sorts of core here. We're getting all sorts of shoulder here. Balance work, stability work. So if this is an exercise that is out of your league right now, you can work on just holding. You can work on coming up and just opening, but that's a challenge. So you've got a lot of things you can kind of work on to build up to. So we got two minute break. I'm gonna talk about shoot the moon just a little bit more. So. Your modifications, again, if that's too challenging, you can practice here. You can just kick through and come back. Kick through and come back as a little precursor warm up. Several options, you can break the exercise down. Whew, 
It is a challenging one though. So I just like to point that out, not to discourage, but so you know, if you're trying it and you're like, what the heck? It's a challenging one, but it's a great one. And I love the name, right? Shoot the moon. So cool. <laughs> All right, guys, we've got a minute, 15 seconds. I'm gonna check the video and I will be right back. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, guys, we have about 45 seconds. So if you need to rethink your weight selection, your workout space, anything like that, now's the time. Um, choo, choo, choo. I think everything was pretty, we pretty much nailed it. Yeah, so if you, again, didn't have that ab roller or stabil stability ball, you're gonna do those supine leg lifts. Laying flat on your back, lifting legs up and down. Modify would be one leg and the other. So all working kind of this lower part of our belly, just in two totally different ways. So we were under 10 seconds. Go ahead and grab your weights. All right, let's roll it back. We've got those high pulls. Up, drop it down. A little bit up, it's a little bit back, up and back. Making sure that those shoulders don't shrug up with you. Over halfway there. Whew, I think that combination of the high pull followed with the overhead press that'll get you. seconds. So we're at our H in holiday with high pull. All right. So our O in holiday is going to be overhead press. And again, that's one where normally overhead press is a heavier weight for people. But again, since we're going super shoulder intensive, maybe consider your weight selection. Drop it down if you think you need to. I am erring on the side of caution, going a little bit lighter than normal for me. All right, so overhead press. We start with those goalpost arms. And we push up overhead, and drop it down. Make sure when you're putting those arms up overhead that you're not bringing your shoulders up with it. So you're not coming here and scrunching your shoulders up. Your shoulders stay down arms come up. There should be a lot of space between your shoulders and your head and your ears. Good job, guys. Coming up next, we've got that low plank rock with the tap out. Whew, that one burnt me up last round. I was definitely down there thinking like, where is that timer? Where is that timer? I don't like to timer watch, but I will say sometimes it's good to see it. All right, guys, we have got the low plank rock with the tap out. So in low plank, you've got a couple options. Your fullest version, the most preferred version is for your arms to be making like a number 11 underneath your shoulders. You can also be here if you need to be. We just tend to tense up too much of our shoulders and our neck when we do that. But it is very stabilizing for some and really helpful. So I'll let you decide where you want to be. Oops, I left a rock out. So we're gonna rock twice. One, two, step out, step back, one, Two, step out, step back. So we're rocking, pushing through our feet. Goodness gracious, y'all. 
I was mean to myself today. <laughs> Gauge that core, keep it tight. Tighter is lighter, as they say. Woof. Tell me I'm not alone. Woo. That's like a murderer's row, those three exercises. <laughs> All right, guys, so next up we've got our low, no, inchworms. I and holiday, inchworms. All right, so we start tall. We bend, hands on the ground, walk out, land in plank, walk it back up. So again, you want to try to keep your legs as straight as possible. If you can't keep your legs straight, it's a flexibility thing. No, I am very flexible, so this is pretty easy for me as far as bending down and touching the floor. And your goal is to take as few steps out as possible. But again, take as many as you need. It's a goal, it's a stretch goal, it's a work in progress. I also try to challenge myself and start with a different hand because <laughs> we always lead with the same hand, right? Whoop. All right, we've got the delt fly. So D in holiday, delt fly. So this one is the super lightweight one, super lightweight. If you're feeling pain and struggle, in your neck, get lighter weights. Or if you don't have lighter weights, get some cans, get some water bottles, go lighter. So we're here, we bend, shoulders back, long neck, gazing out, open it up. Really think about those shoulders, squeeze, to the back like you're trying to grab a pencil, grab somebody's finger between your shoulder blades. And again, this is one that if you can do it, you really want to be bent over pretty far here. Ten seconds. Grab your ball. If you have it, we're going to do our A in holiday. Ab roll up. Hoo, hoo, hoo. All right, so stand nice and tall, up on our knees, shoulders back, hands lightly on the ball. We roll it out. Feel that core, that lower belly engage, and that's where we squeeze to pull it back in. If as you're rolling out, you feel like you can't control it, that you're just flopping, you know, that you get to a certain point and then you're just kind of flopping out, then just go to your point where you don't flop and then pull it back in. I call that your point of no return. So you stop right before you hit that point where you just can't control it and then pull it back in. No harm in that, it's still great work. You're just working within your range and what's challenging for you. It's perfect, it's the perfect place to be. All right, Y in holiday, Y lifts. Trying to, my little exercise ball's got a mind of its own. Let's try this direction. All right, Y lifts. So, get our weights to the front, shoulders back and down, make a YMCA. Squeeze it up and back. This is another really lightweight exercise. You could do it with heavier weight, but you'd be using all the wrong muscles. 
to really get into those muscles we want to be using, you need to go light and make sure that it's work those little muscles can do. I like to really stop when I get to the top, give a little extra squeeze and lay it down. So you feel when you get up here, you can feel what muscles are working. Just give them a little extra and then let it go. All right, last one this round. We're already there, the S in holidays. We're going to shoot the moon. So remember, just work and your modification for this. Or if you can do it, but you can't go for a whole minute, then just go as long as you can. Super challenging exercise, super great challenge. So we set it up just like our plank, tall, push our hands away, push that floor away from us. We lift our knees, we rotate, kick it through, open, explode up out of that hand, pull it through. So it's really important to think about this hand that's on the floor as pushing up and away. See how much that elevates me versus just kind of collapsing down? Elevate up. That really gets your core involved too by elevating up out. Up versus here. Two, complete. Ah. I'm sweating. Indeed. Huh. We're on t-shirts are tough, y'all. I used to do it all the time, and I'm like, oh, how did I do it? So much clothes. <laughs> Get off me. Ah. Also wearing two pairs of pants, because I was telling Charlie, these pants aren't like a compression workout pants. So I was like, things are far too jiggly <laughs> in just these pants. So we are, we're double bagging today. Ah, I was like, yes, we're between rounds. Good girl. Yes, good girl. All right, guys, so we've got a minute and 12 seconds. Get your water, take your break, and I will meet you back here in just a couple seconds. I'm going to check on the video. Thank you, Geralda. I'm glad you like. In case you missed the intro, this is our, our main tree, our feature tree of the house. And you guys won't believe it. This tree is over 20 years old. I've had the tree for 20 years. If it was not new, it was a hand-me-down when it was given to me. And I still think it's just the most gorgeous, full, tree like every year we're like oh should we think about a new tree and then we'll go look at places and i'm like mm -mm, none of these trees look anywhere near as nice as this guy <laughs> oh. all right we've got 15 seconds so whatever last little adjustments you need to do we're back to the h and holidays with our high poles coming up Here we go, friends. Shoulders back and down. We pull up, we pull back. Pull. So we are squeezing back between those shoulder blades. I doubt you'll be able to see a thing with this thick t-shirt, but squeezing back and down. Squeezing between those shoulder blades. And that's sort of towards the bottom of those shoulder blades. It's hard to describe. I can point it out to you. But it's down, you know, like we do the delt fly, it's really high up between our shoulder blades. When we do a fly, like a regular reverse fly, it's sort of dead center between our shoulder blades. This one is down towards that lower part. It's almost like you feel your shoulder blades roll down and in. Beautiful. All right, we've got 20 seconds and we're going to overhead press. 
Are you seeing the coaches this round, little girl? Oh, that's so good. So good. She doesn't know. She's getting an awesome Christmas present. Well, she gets lots of Christmas presents, but there's one I'm super excited about. And I'll show you guys once she, once she has it. All right, overhead press. We're here. Shoulders. We want just a little bit ahead of our shoulder. We don't want to be way back here. Just a little bit ahead. Just for some fine tuning, we know what we're doing now. We'll just give you more some fine tuning tips in these exercises. I learned somewhat recently about the overhead press being safer to be a little bit ahead of your shoulder. Just put your shoulder in a safer position. Um, shoulders are just one of those things that they are so crucial and so important and so, so stinking complicated. And so you just gotta be so careful with them. So any tip that I can pick up that's like a shoulder saver, taking it. Especially my athletic career was all very shoulder focused, which I know most athletics are. All right guys, let's bring it down. We've got that low plank rock with the tap out. Come on over to, I'm gonna be down on the floor. I know you guys hear me call her 7,000 different names in one workout. Rizzo is her proper name. <laughs> All right, guys, so we come down to our low plank. Now remember, you can be here with your arms at 11. Oh, good girl, good low plank. Awesome. Or you can be here. Thank you, sweet girl. When we come up, we rock forward and back, forward and back. Step it out, step it out. Thank you, Rue. Forward and back, forward and back. Step out, step out. You are too funny. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> step out, step out. If any of you also work out with dogs, you probably know what I'm experiencing right now. They're like, you're on our turf. Woo! Thank you. That was such a big helper. High five. Oh, good girl. All right, guys, we're going to come up. We've got our eye and holiday with edgeworms. Woof. Yes, I'm going to be walking out to you. She's licking her lips, all that disgusting sweat. All right, so we bring it down. Two to four. Step it out. Bring it back. Down. Step it out. Also, guys, now that we're in fine tuning mode, make your steps light. No big thuds into the ground. Step gently. Again, trying to keep our knees as straight as possible, both directions. So not only when we come down, but as we're walking back in, see how straight my legs still are? That's the goal we're working on. So intramural is awesome because you have a lot of places to go. There's a lot of ways to perfect it. Also, all for any exercise that improves flexibility, for sure. So important. All right, her D and holidays. We've got the delt fly coming up. Whew. All right, shoulders back and down. Oh, uh, no, I don't want to show you sideways. I'm afraid I'll like to show you instructions. All right, so we're going to. Bend, 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 roll shoulders back, look slightly out ahead, and now we're up in that higher part. So squeeze in between shoulder blades again, but now you're gonna feel it up higher in your shoulders, whereas that high pull was in the lower part. So again, fine tuning, if you find that to get those weights up, you're having to bounce. 
and your weight is way too heavy, way too heavy, bring it down. All right, we've got our ab rollout. The D, the D, we just did the D. The A, it's not the dab rollout. <laughs> we've got the A in holidays. All right, so stand tall. I'll show you a little fine tuning on the way back up. So we're tall through our knees. We roll it out, land in that low plank. Engage our core to pull it back up. And I want you to come all the way back up to your knees. I'll show you what happens a lot of times. We roll out and then we stop about here and then roll out again. I want you to come all the way up tall and then bring it out. All the way up tall. Roll it out. It's very different. If you try it both ways, you'll see what I mean and the difference. Usually when people on the occasion I've heard, this doesn't seem that hard, it's because they're only coming to about here and then coming back out. All right, we've got the Y lift, the Y in holidays. Got our super light weight. We've got our super little Rizzo. Yes, good girl. All right, shoulders down, open, stand tall. We lift. So again, this is the one where I like to get up and squeeze a little extra at the top. These are also great to do single-armed at the gym. You can bring it across and open. So same movement, just a little different by making it single-sided. Truthfully, I like the single side a little bit better just because it takes a lot of the momentum out that you have of a big wide open. Nothing wrong with this one. But you know me, I'm always a fan of single-sided. And the purpose of the circuit though, single-sided stuff eats up a lot of the circuit. All right, put those weights down. And we are the S in holidays. We are shooting the moon. Watch out too. All right, not a lot of fine tuning to do on this one. Just a lot of focus a lot of work so I'll continue to coach it though for sure so we're on our hands roll those shoulders back and down plug them in gaze comes slightly out lift those knees we roll through push out of that hand and squeeze through those obliques so we're pushing up we're squeezing through here pushing out of our hand reaching for the sky Boom. Now, if you really want to take it up, I don't know if you can see my feet in this shot, but your foot you kick through, you can leave elevated. So instead of sitting it down on the floor, you can lift that foot up. That's if you need to take it to next level. trip through. Woo. This one is real. This one is real. I know I've got a little extra clothing situation going on causing that too, but woo. Ah, so we've got a minute, 35 seconds. Catch your water. Catch your breath. Whatever you gotta do. Get yourself psyched up. Ready. We've got a little one last round. We gotta make it big. We gotta make it feel good. We gotta feel strong. It's our last workout together before Christmas. Wah! All right, guys, get your water, get your breath. I'm gonna check video 
I will meet you back here momentarily. guys we have got just about 45 seconds so go ahead and think to yourself what can I do this round to challenge myself um, heavier weights not necessarily the challenge we're looking for in this workout just because we're doing so much intense kind of digging in work with small muscles so I wouldn't say make heavier weights your goal for this particular workout but for this round what can you do a little different can you take one step out of your inchworm for an extra challenge can you shoot the moon? Try lifting your foot. Can you reach higher, squeeze more through that shoot the moon? Can you low plank rock tap out? Can you hold it? Can you keep your arms like this instead of like this? Think of those goals. What can you do to challenge yourself so you feel really proud at the end of this round, at the end of your workout? You're warm, you know what you're doing, there's no surprises. What can you do to give yourself just a little extra challenge? Just to see what you're made of. And guys, that challenge can look like anything. Anything. Can I keep my knees a little straighter in my inchworm this round? Can I take one step, just one, one hand less in that inchworm? Just little challenges like that. Baby steps are so not baby steps. 15 seconds. Five seconds. Boom, the H in holidays is done. So we're on to our O, we've got our overhead press. Now, if you really are pushing, if you're really like, nope, I want heavier weights to be my challenge this round, this is where I do it. This is the one where heavier weights are okay. So if that's like, that's what I want my goal to be, then make it this round. Heavier weights this round, if heavy weight is your challenge you wanna go for today. But just this exercise, <laughs> not the other ones. The other ones, stay light, please. just about shoulder height pushing up overhead you can tap those weights together if you have that mobility some of us are a little too tight to do that again just a goal you know goals people think goals always have to be so huge and a huge goal is important but how do you eat an elephant right one bite at a time 10 seconds so make really great attainable goals that lead up to that big goal. If your goal is to run a marathon, then you've got to have baby steps up to that marathon. You can't go from sitting on your couch to running a marathon. So you've got to have little steps in between, right? And that sounds logical. You're like, no, I would never do that. Why would you then think I'm starting to lift weights? I should lift 20 pounds right away. Same idea, right? Baby steps. All right, low plank rocks with that tap. We're in the L in holiday. Two, step out, step out. One, two, step out, step out. Great shoulder work here, great core work here. Great core work in the plank rock, and then you add a step out. Woo! Come on, timer. 
Rizzo, I didn't have you for my low place. I didn't know what to do. All right, guys, we are at the eye in holidays, inchworm. So this is a great place. If you weren't sure where to take your extra challenge, this is a great place to try it. Great place to try it. Legs straight, always just a little bit of bend. Hands down, step it out. Boom, walk it back. So, can you keep your legs a little straighter as you come down? Can you take one less step into your plank? Can you keep your legs a little straighter on the walk back? Lots of things you can break down here. Can you step more lightly with your hands? Instead of thudding your hands down into the ground, can you step more gently? One more. Beautiful work, guys. All right, light, light wait time. We got that delt fly. <sighs> so again, I will reiterate your extra challenge that you're trying, not heavier weights with this exercise. Hear me, hear me? All right. <laughs> All right, guys, so we roll back. Bend forward, gaze slightly out, squeeze up. Again, so now we're in that higher part between our shoulder blades. Move with control. Again, if you're bouncing, weight's too heavy, lower that weight. Fifteen seconds. Awesome, guys. All right, we've got the ab rollouts. So this is another great place. Take a challenge. Um, you know, can you roll with more stability? If you were having to stop yourself a little short so you don't collapse, can you take yourself just an extra little centimeter further? Really think about this midsection. When you stretch out, you feel those abs tighten, squeeze. Right where you feel it's tight, pull it back up. Woo, I definitely gotta reinflate my ball, he's beautiful. <laughs> All right, just two left, guys. We've got the Y and the S, and that is it. How are we there already, right? Woo! All right, we've got those Y lifts. Stand tall, shoulders back, we lift. Extra little squeeze at the top. So just that moment of static hold, let it go. guys over halfway there we are sculpting some strong beautiful shoulders today
one more. Beautiful. All right, guys. We have one exercise left. Shoot the moon. That is it. We are in the very, very home stretch now. So guys, again, lots of points of challenge here. So just think about what can I do a little better? Can I push harder? Whew. Watch out too. All right, set it up, push it away, kick it through. So can I lift higher this round? Pull it through. Can I possibly kick out the foot? instead of touching it to the ground. Or if you're working modified and you're here, can I kick it through this time and try that? Under 10 seconds, guys, so close. Almost flipped over. <laughs> I got too excited. One more, one more. Yes, friends. Woo! We have done it. Four trips through the holidays. <sighs> awesome work, guys. Feels so good to be working out knowing that I have friends here with me, surrounded by Christmas decorations, sweat my booty off, <laughs> have my little pupper girl here. So guys, thank you so much for joining me. I'll save my end of year accolades and love for you. Before the end of the year, we will have one more workout. So I will save that. But guys, I do just wanna thank you. I'm so grateful. It truly is a gift to be able to share what I have learned over my what is now an incredibly long fitness and wellness journey so it really is a gift that I worked really hard to figure out I'm not gonna say on my own you always have a support squad but it's such a great gift for me to be able to take this gift that I have and give it back to you guys and encourage you show you safe ways to get healthy to get fit to get your mind right and to be here to support you through all of that it really is a gift to me. And I thank you so much for giving me that gift. And I look forward to working out with you many more times. I hope that all of you have a great Christmas if you celebrate Christmas. I hope if you are at Hanukkah, a person who celebrates Hanukkah, I hope that you had a wonderful Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, all the holidays that come during this magical time. I hope that all of you celebrated them wonderfully and will continue to celebrate. Have a great Christmas and I will see you after the holidays for another great workout. Thanks again, guys. Mwah.